Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I would go over my toothpick setups. So I want to start by explaining that everybody has different uses for for their for their quads. I personally at the moment I'm on a bit of a racing kick, so everything I build I end up flying on a racetrack. So I'm kind of looking at trying to build these to make them fly as fast as a uh, a 5 inch. Um but I'm not so sure it's even possible really. Definitely have to go 4S, 3S is not going to cut it. Um, 4S on these Beta FPV motors doesn't work so well. Um, I burnt out the back one and refitted this Gep RC motor that I got sent. <laughs> Just the one random one. So I did actually find a use for it. Um, but then I tried to run 4S on it again and it burnt out so it's so either the ESC is struggling a little bit or more than likely it's the 5000 kV on these 3 inch tri-blade props they're not these motors are really not designed for this sort of thing um, but I have to go up to 3 inch props and 4S in order to get the speed I need to keep up with my 5 inch so I invested in these um, Zing 1206, so slightly bigger, 4,500 kV, and I built up an analog toothpick to run 4S. Um, I only had a couple of sessions on it before I managed to get my hands on a Vista, and yeah, obviously when I saw the Vista and I saw that it had mounting for uh, toothpick boards, uh, the first thing I wanted to do was fit it to one of my guitar picks and see see how it performed to see if that all that added weight of this massive VTX and everything was gonna how bad it was gonna hinder the performance. So when I got the Vista and started looking at it, the first thing I noticed was that the outer holes inside the Vista that are designed for mounting with your toothpick stack one M2, which is what everybody uses for their uh, toothpick mounting. They actually use M1.6 from what I can tell. So I had to buy a bunch of these these little one and a half mil um, bolts in order to run the stack. So therein lies the first issue. You're adding all this weight on top of the stack and you're then and you're going to reduce the thickness of the bolts that are holding it all together so instantly i knew there was going to be a potential issue with durability there but uh, i persevered anyway um when you take the bolts out of the the vista because they're not through holes you have to actually bolt your stack bolts you have to screw them into the vista itself they're not through holes on the outside, they're, they've got bolts in there. So you have to take those out and there's approximately two mil of thread that you can actually screw into the Vista itself. So it's not the most um, secure way of mounting, if you ask me, um, especially if you're going to be doing things like I do, which is flying it around as fast as it can go, basically. Um, when you remove the bolt from... The, the, the little bolts that come in the Vista, um, the bolt head actually makes the, the bottom of the Vista flat. So when you remove that, you've obviously got these little uh, indents you have to deal with. So I built, I started working on um, a mount, and this is like the first initial prototype thing just that I tested. Um, the idea was that this sits on top of your flight controller and the little gummies go inside those holes and then on top can't really see it too well because I've done it in black but there's like a little there's little lugs in the corners <clears throat> and that basically replaces the um, the bolt head that you remove from from the Vista so it also, so so that it actually sits on this lower part here and then the bolt from the stack goes up through here and bolts into the Vista. And the Vista, obviously the VTX sits there. And then I built all this extra bit up on top for the camera. Um, to my surprise, it actually went together really well. Um, pretty secure. 
Uh, not very much movement, especially when you've got brand new bolts in that aren't all bent up. Obviously the elephant in the room here, this arm is broken. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, it works and it flies good. Obviously people have seen, uh, have put videos up of me flying it and it performs well. Durability wise, this is, I have crashed it loads before I finally broke an arm. That really surprised me. But these little 1.5 mil bolts, they all bent up almost straight away like the first crash because they're just not really strong enough. And you can't get 12.9 hardened steel in M1.6. So you can't really, you have to use A2 steel, which isn't the strongest. Um, but as I said, depending on what you're using it for, um, it would work as a really good setup. I mean, if I wasn't racing with it and flying it around and completely destroying my batteries with it, uh, it wouldn't fall out of the sky and and break. <laughs> uh, one of the issues that I've, I ran into straight away is that all, almost like the majority of these warp boards only have one full UART. Um, so you can't run MSP very easily with the Vista. There is the Beta FPV V3, which they've addressed that, and that's now got three um, UARTs. And funnily enough, the Nameless RC board has actually got two full UARTs on it, so you could I could have used that as well. Um, but I wanted to use this GEP RC board because it's just much higher quality. And it's yeah, that's been working well on 4S, it flies good. Um, these 1206 motors on 3 inch, they have got plenty of power, um, 2, 3 and 4S, it flies and depending on your environment you can put on the appropriate size battery to like fly in. So indoors I was using a little 2S pack, um, then in the indoor barn that I was that we go to when it's raining here for racing, I was racing it on 3S, and then eventually I just had to start using the 4S because um, I wanted more power, more power, more power. Always want more power. So yeah, now that I've broke this, I'm actually going to put the Vista in something else and rebuild my analog 4S because uh, I've burnt out another motor on this now. So. Um, I'm just going to use these 1206 4500 kV on 4S and see if I can uh, build up a guitar pick that will perform as well as my 5 inch. It's still pretty doubtful, but um, yeah, I want to give it a go. So uh, hopefully this has been useful for anybody looking to build up a Vista on a, on a toothpick style quad if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below and uh, yeah i'll help you uh, help you figure out your setup cool thanks for watching the video laters